Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some football photography. <laughs> it's great to be back. As you guys probably know, I've, I've already shot a few games and uh, I've got Hull versus Bournemouth <laughs> today. Bournemouth again, third game in four, in four outings that I've seen Bournemouth, but uh, I saw them get a 6-0 thrashing on Tuesday at Norwich, but I think Scott Parker did put out his young side, so I think they'll be out with the, a bit of payback today, so it should be a good game. I think I'm going to do, I'll go and hopefully sit Bournemouth fans first off, get Hull attack and uh, main, the main brief for today, if you like, call it a brief, is to get lots of stock photography, so um, play a ball, top half and uh, hopefully you should get a nice bit of stock for the guys anyway. And then they just use those images, I'll just before I go in the ground, they just use those images for any sorts of stories. I've been in the papers today and a couple of my stock images from last week are in the, in the papers today, a couple of Huddersfield players. So it's always good to get as much as you can. You know, new sign-ins, new kit. You know, they like as many pictures of every player as they can. So yeah, that'll be the main brief today to get lots of stock. But uh, as and when they run towards you or whatever and man on ball, you know, but uh, anyway, quite excited never been to Hull before another ground now moved up in Lincolnshire obviously all the grounds that I go to are, are new grounds for me so I've not been here for for well not working wise anyway I've been here years and years ago with dad when I come to watch West Ham but uh, but not recently anyway let's crack on get signed on and uh, go and choose a spot to sit accreditation got my pass and uh, I've never been here before just gonna work out where I can sit try and work out where the away fans are can't see any segregation so I'll have to work it out but I'll get that done and get my position sorted black netting which is the segregation but uh, black netting on black seats can't see it from over there anyway I asked the steward as well so this is the away end so uh, I think I'll go for sort of I don't know I might go corner flaggish because if Hull are shooting this way first half then they're not going to run to the away fans they'll run to the fans perhaps to the left of me here behind here so so uh, I think I'll position myself near the corner flag first half anyway and then if Bournemouth do end up shooting this way second half I might move sort of 18 yard line in the middle of their fans and hopefully get a good selly so I'll get my spot sorted and head back to the press room. I've just double checked all the regulations and that from the media pack that I was sent and we are allowed all the way around the pitch apart from in the red zones and obviously not allowed over the digital boards onto the Astro turf and I've just the sun's just come out and I've just looked at this shadow off the corner flag and I think I'm going to head the opposite side, have the sun behind me. If it does, I mean, it looks like it might cloud over for the game. I don't know, but, but uh, if the sun does come out, I'll be the right side of it, I think. So I think I'm going to head to the far corner. Incidentally, it's also the corner to the left of the dugouts. So I might get some nice manager stock photos, you know, but a uh, bit, of, bit of dejection or any sort of reaction from the manager anyway. So, yeah, could be a good spot this first half. Fingers crossed. my spot marked up. I'm going to head back to the press room now, grab a quick bit of cheeky lunch and then head outside and see if we can grab any fans arriving just to start the set off.
Well, before I get started, I've got to say a massive, huge thanks to Jackie Moores over at Canon. As you guys probably know, lost my sport work instantly when COVID hit. And 18 months on, I was getting no work. The 400 and my two 1DXs were just sat on the shelf, gathering dust. I was a bit short of work anyway, so I made the really tough decision to sell my gear. Sell the two 400s and uh, 7D Mark II, Pocket Wizards and uh, the two 1DXs. And of course, I never thought, as, as once I'd moved up to Lincolnshire as well and I moved away from my patch and into someone else's patch, never even dreamed I'd get some sport work. And then obviously when PA got in touch a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago now, I panicked because obviously I wanted to take on the work and uh, I touched base with Jackie and said, any chance you've got any old kit, you know, old dinosaur Mark I kits, gathering dust on the shelves and, and bless her, she sent me a Mark III 1DX, complete with card, CF Express card, card reader and a transmitter for when I'm remote and also a Mark II 400 and I am absolutely, I'm ecstatic, you know, for her to to send me that kit, loan it out for, for a few weeks until I get back on my feet and uh, get my kit gathered together again. It's absolutely fa fantastic. So Jackie, if you're watching, absolutely thrilled to bits. Can't thank you enough. So yeah, and it's, it's just a privilege to use this kit. I doubt I'm gonna be able to afford a Mark III 1DX when I do get my kit together, or a Mark II 400 for that matter, but uh, privilege to use it for now until I get back on my feet. So thanks Jackie and, and thanks Canon for the support. If you're a Nikon user, and you're a bit fed up and you're thinking of changing to Canon, give Jackie a ring. I'm sure she'll do you a good deal. But uh, anyway, <laughs> she'll probably kill me for saying that. But yeah, so I'm all set up. Bournemouth have just come out. So without further ado, I'm gonna get some warm up stuff. a bit of warm-up done I'm just making my way to the edge of the red zone now to hopefully capture a handshake with the two managers fingers crossed Well, I never got a handshake, they must have shook in the tunnel. Sometimes do that, but not to worry. Just stay for a minute, just to get a bit of stock. <laughs> Offside. Good effort from Hull. Adding plenty of pressure. Right, I'll get set up. Well plays up the other end. It's always courteous to take your hood off if you've got guys to your left, which I have. The less you can get in the way of other snappers, the better. Well, just while I've got a minute, I'm just going to send a few images of the managers now that plays calmed down a bit.
just a bit of an injury going on at the minute, so while they're treating the player, I'm just trying to catch up with sending. Pretty even game so far. Not too much action yet. It's getting quite tricky now because the sun's obviously going down about 20 past three and uh, half the pitch is now in shade. So I've just um, put it into auto ISO and I'm going to use the exposure compensation just to flick it plus minus as the players come in and out of the shade. I find that works quite well. Just control it on the top wheel by holding the set button in the combination. Bournemouth's offside trap's working well today. That's about four times Villa have been offside. It's quite a good set here, like I said earlier. You can keep an eye on the managers. A few yellow bibs in the, mi in the way, mind. Flick it portrait. going to be a yellow card then but nothing as soon as that whistle goes I tend to look at the referee's hand just to see if he's reaching for his pocket or not I've got the players warming up in front of me so I'm just going to move a bit It's the only thing when you sit on the touchline that's near the dugout, you get the subs warming up in front of you. Just got to be aware of that. Last, I've got a bit of action to send. So all the time I'm editing, I've got my ear on the crowd just in case the tempo raises and you know so much is about to happen. Right now, Bournemouth are attacking. <laughs> Got another injury at the minute, so I'm just gonna go through my set, see if there's anything worth sending. So Bournemouth's got a corner now, so I'm just going to take a frame and just check my settings. You've got time, you may as well check. Just knock the exposure up a little bit. Spot on. I'm just going to knock my aperture up to F5 as well. Just to give me a bit more depth. Just in case the focus points, not quite on the player you need. There's always a chance it might still be sharp enough. Right, here we go. Clear. Right, knock that aperture back down again to give me the good depth. Three point two I'm on. Saved by the keeper there. Corner.
42 minutes gone. Not a lot to send in really. Just gotta keep scanning around, looking for something. Well plays in the middle of the park. I'm just going through the set and just marking the ones, locking the ones that I want, and then when they open up in photo mechanic, they'll come up at the top. Jack Stacey got a yellow card. challenge that. I was just moving my focus point as the ref got his car down because I could see Jack Stacey walking away so I shifted the focus point to the right hand side of the frame. It might be a little bit soft. I got one frame luckily. It's the only thing when the player knows he's getting a card and he walks time not the best half but uh, I think Hull have had most of it but I'm going to stay at this end I'm going to go and sit in front of the Bournemouth fans and uh, fingers crossed we get a nice goal from Bournemouth perhaps and a Sally bit of a gamble can't really tell who's it's been quite quite an, an equal game really percentage wise possession wise should I say but I'm going to move over to the Bournemouth corner now so, there's not many images from the first half, but I'll pop them up now, guys. set up, <laughs> bit of a mad dash, it's always the same when you're sending manual wire, I get carried away sending images and before you know it the players are coming out again. Gonna be a noisy half this one, ball to my left, Bournemouth behind me. The sun's come out again now so it could be a bit tricky. Just need some action. The digital boards are a lot higher here. I just put you on the on the top of the digital board. That's how high it is. About to extend my mini max to nearly full full height. Luckily, the fans behind her sat quite high, so I'm not in their way. It's good to hear the Bournemouth fans singing.
still trying to get as much stock imagery as I can. Oh. Who was that? Jordan Zamora. He was bringing the ball towards me at the 18-yard line and I thought he was going to shoot, so I stayed on the 400 for as long as he can. It's always a gamble. It's always a gamble. Knowing or sensing when to switch from the 400 to the 70 to 200. Got away with it there. Well, it's quite bright now. Just overexposing a bit, so I'm going to just knock it down a few stops on the exposure confrontation. What I will do in a bit as well is get my times two converter out and get it ready with about 10 minutes to go I'll have a couple of minutes on the managers yeah with a couple of minutes to go I'll put the times two converter on the 400 and get get some nice close-up stuff for the managers hopefully that'll be in a bit oh ball just simmed Past the keeper in an open goal. No Bournemouth player there. That'd have been nice, but I got a tap in. Started on a high tempo again. Keeping me busy anyway. Always worth keeping an eye in the crowd as well. I want ready then. Again, changing the four to the two. Good save from the keeper. they've been took off or some sort of change in the system always worth grabbing the substitutions getting to that stage now where I want to open the laptop and send some images just general action but I don't want to miss anything Well, 77 minutes gone. I'm going to get the two times converter out, I think, and try and get one or two of the, well, get ready to get one or two of the managers with five minutes to go. I don't think there'll be much dejection, but nil nil's not really good for anyone, so there might be a bit of reaction. I'll get the old times two out. So there's just been a substitution, there's also an injury, so I've just quickly downloaded the card while I've got a second. Not that there's much to send.
with a two times converter on to keep everything sharp. I've gone to F9 and I'm at 640 to put the shutter speed right down. But it's sharp enough that the managers don't move too fast. to it, so I'll send after the game. Got a free kick to Hull. Good position too. This is going to be the last kick of the match. There we go, final whistle. nil-nil game for a long time. You can only get what you can get. Oh well. There's not much in the second half, but I'll pop a few frames up now, guys. Well, a bit of a steady old game that, unfortunately. <laughs> Not a lot of action. I've just counted 36 images, including fans arriving and bits and bobs. So 36 in the full set. It's probably one of the lowest numbers of images I've sent for a long time. But anyway, you get them games every now and again, don't you? But uh, keep the eye in anyway. But uh, I must say as well, thanks to good mate Steve Paston. I don't know if you noticed, but I had another 1DX on the 400 and Steve's very kindly lent me his 1DX as well, just for a a month or two so yeah thanks Steve I was the last three games because I only met Steve this week to pick up the 1DX I've been shooting on the 5D Mark IV so I had to buy a little battery grip for it just so that I could still you know it still felt comfortable with a grip on on the 400 but yeah nice to have two 1DXs anyway so thanks Steve and thanks again to Jackie for all that she's done to get me rigged up with the 400 and the 1DX and bits and bobs so yeah brilliant lucky boy anyway sorry it was a nil nil guys pretty steady old game but uh, still enjoyed it it's just nice to have the fans back really and nice to be back in the game but anyway hopefully the next game we'll have a few goals <laughs> thanks ever so much for watching guys if you can remember to give the video a like that'd be much appreciated and do it hit that subscribe button 
for more of the same content. Hopefully a bit more sport to come anyway, but uh, ah, jobs are good. And thanks ever so much, guys. Take care. Catch up soon.